Alright, what is going on guys? My name is Anton and welcome back to a brand new Discord tutorial. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you guys how you can have your bot create roles based on um, based on a command. Well, not based on a command, but basically you're going to type in a command and the bot's going to see it, it's going to interpret it, it's going to create the role for you. So it's really easy and I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to basically write an else if statement over here and I'm going to check the command prefix make sure it starts with question mark and the command name so I'm gonna say else if so uh, if you saw my previous video where I wrote this function all this does is it checks if the if the message content began with a question mark and some command name and if it did it's gonna be true if it's not we're not gonna do anything okay so the command is gonna be called create role so what I wanna do is let me show you guys in the documentation how this is gonna work so there's a method called create role okay and in order to access this method you need the guild object so I'm gonna get I'm gonna show you guys how to get that okay so right now we're in the message event so basically the user is gonna have to type in you know the command and then the bot is gonna do something right right now the bot doesn't do anything uh, doesn't right now the bot won't do anything yet okay so if I want to get the guild what I can do is I can create a variable called guild name or guild object and I can do message dot guild and this will give me the guild object it will basically get the guild object and assign it to guild object but I don't need to do that though I can just do this so let's actually take a look at the documentation look at message and then message has a property called guild and this represents the guild that the message was sent in okay so I can do now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the create role method okay now this method or function whatever you want to call it returns a promise uh, of type role right it returns a promise with the role with the role object so we're gonna do create role okay and we have our then and our catch so if you guys don't understand promises I highly recommend you guys uh, learning them and because a lot of like most of the uh, most of the Discord JS library uses promises, so you guys definitely should learn it. Okay, unless you guys want to learn a different language and write your bot in a different with a different library, that's always another, another option. But promises are really fun and really easy, and they're not hard to they're not hard to uh, to learn. Okay, anyways, so if we look at the documentation, the create role function takes in two parameters, which are both optional. Okay, so let's say for example if I don't pass in any uh, parameters in here right uh, so I'll show you what it's gonna do so actually I need that so since it returns a promise with the role object I'm gonna say console.log role created okay and I'm gonna say so this is this right here is just an arrow function okay I'm not really doing anything special and if there's any errors I'm just gonna print it out to the console so let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, whoops, I think I have an error. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you guys what I was doing here earlier. So let's just go ahead and just do a uh, question mark create role. Okay, and if we look at our console, role created. So I actually had this from, I was actually recording this before, but uh, the video was really long and I wanted to make it shorter uh, and try my best to explain things as much as possible. So, but we can see that it created a new role called new role. Well, let me actually delete everything first and show you guys that it 100% works and I'm not scamming you guys uh, with your time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do question mark create role and we're going to see that it's something prints out to the console. And then the role is created. Now, obviously, we don't want it to say new role. We want it to say, you know, whatever we want. So here, here's how this is going to work. I'm first going to have the user type in, you know, the command. And I'm going to have them pass in arguments. So, for example, moderator is an argument. 8CF74A is an argument, etc. So let's do this. So let's take var. Let's, well, let's create a variable called args. And let's set it equal to message.content. Um, now we don't have to set it to two lowercase, um, so you don't have to worry about that. The reason why we don't want to set it to two lowercase is because the role name is probably going to be 
case sensitive because obviously if, if we because if we set this to lowercase and we take moderator it would it would actually make the role moderator to lowercase m so we're just going to do dot split and split it up upon spaces okay and let's actually see uh, okay whoops okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to shift the array by one or I'm just going to shift the array, so it's going to shift everything to the left. So it'll, it'll remove the first. Uh, it'll remove the first index of the array. Okay. The reason why I want to do that is because I only I don't really care too much about the command name because what because what's going to happen is when I type in something like this, right? It's going to um, it's basically going to take in the name of the role and the color, right? This is a hex value, right? Um, and I want to basically store all of these inside an array, but I don't really care too much about the command name because we already know what it is. So I can just you know remove it. I I'll show you what I'm doing. I mean, if, like the reason why I'm showing this is because I have a feeling like most people who are watching this video aren't really too familiar with JavaScript and they're new to coding. But for those of you who um, understand all this stuff, like the like I'm not, I'm not explaining it just to explain it. You know what I mean? I'm explaining it so um, people that are new to JavaScript would understand it and ideally not everyone learns JavaScript first I assume because I, I don't know I've just seen people that um, just try to jump straight to you know doing this stuff without actually understanding what these methods do so that's why I'm kinda like you know explaining everything to the bare bone anyways enough rambling <laughs> okay I apologize so what does this do okay so we have the array create role moderator and then the, the hex color okay so shifting it so now I'm going to go ahead and pass in an object, which is going to, it's basically the role data object. You can look at the documentation, right? And it basically takes in a bunch of different properties, which are all optional. So the properties that we want to take in are a name and a color. So I'm going to do name. And the name is going to be at subscript zero because we shifted the array. We shifted the array by one to remove the, the first element, which was the command name. So now, the name is going to be the name of the role is going to be in the zeroth subscript and now I want the color to be at arg sub one okay and I think uh, that is it for now so let me go ahead and save this so I want I want to have some feedback so I'm gonna go ahead and well feedback on the server so I'm gonna do message .channel send. Uh, I'll do template literal message. Uh, not message. Role name. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's try this one more time. So right over here is the hex value. You can pass in any hex value you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a random one. And you pass it in without the hashtag. So create role. Let's say new user new role was created um, oh yeah that's the name of the role okay wait oh I see why I see why okay I, I can see why this is a problem because yeah I, I know I know exactly why now um, I made a mistake and I, I didn't think about it let me just delete this so it's because we put a space that's why um, so it created a role called new and it ignored everything else. So let's try this again. Let me instead I'll just do create role member. So member role was created and let's take a look at it. Boom, member. And that's the color of the hex value. So yeah, the reason why I had this problem, basically I put a sp because I put a space over here, right? Um so if I look at the array over here, actually I'm not printing anything out. Okay, never mind. So because everything was del delimited or tokenized as uh, with with spaces, right? So create role was shifted. So th the actual name of the role was new, and they thought this was the hex color, and they ignored this because we didn't do anything with it. So that's that's a problem. So I mean, you can easily fix it though. You could just write a better um, function that will check the arguments because right now this will only work if the role name doesn't have a space. But if it does, you just got to do some other things. I mean, other things you could do is you could say, you can have the user specify, um, you can have the user specify the name of the role. 
and then delimit everything using like a slash or something. There's there's a different there's a bunch of different possibilities. Um, but yeah, you just have to be creative with these things. But uh, yeah, so hopefully this makes some sense, and this is one way that you can use. This is one way that you can easily just create, you know, a role if you want. Um, and there are other things that you can do too. Like for example, if they don't pass in the hex color, uh, I think it'll just default. I think it'll just do it. Create by default. I think. Let me actually see. New user. I think I'm pretty sure it does default. Yep, it does the default color. So yeah, and there, there's a bunch of other things that you could do. Uh, you just have to be creative. So hopefully this video uh, helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have any feedback, I would really love to hear it. Um, so yeah, until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.